Hello there travel lovers and welcome to Pokhara, Nepal, which is 200 kilometers west of Kathmandu. It's actually the largest city in Nepal when it comes to size. So to get here, we took a public bus that took about eight hours altogether. And trust me guys, the roads were not good. Like it would have been impossible to sleep. But the good thing is that it was super cheap, only seven pounds. So you can't complain about that too much. A lot of people come here to base themselves for trekking, especially for Anapura circuit. We are not doing any trekking this weekend. We're gonna do some touristy bits. So follow us on this adventure in Pokhara. Good morning there, travel lovers. So today is the next day and we've just woken up with this beautiful view of Lake Fever. There it is. So this is the hostel that we've been staying at. Really nice property and really nice views. They have like these private little pagodas here on the pond where you can like have some food, have some drinks. You have like some rice fields and then you have Lake Fever there in the distance and of course some mountains. Isn't that beautiful? We're getting some Indian food for breakfast. We'll see what Parikshit has in mind. South Indian kitchen, veg and vegan. And we're gonna get some dosa for breakfast. So Pari took me to this restaurant to have a South Indian dosa, right? This is the dosa. Uh huh. This is sambar. Sambal. Sambal. Sambar. Sambar. Is yeah. it spicy? Uh, fairly. So I'm gonna dip my dosa into one of these dips. Mm -mm -mm. Mm, so good, so fresh. The guy literally took about 20 minutes to make this, but he put in so much effort. It's really, really delicious. Mm -mm -mm. So today is a beautiful sunny day in Pokhara. It's about 14, 15 degrees Celsius. As you can see, I'm wearing my shades. <laughs> today we are going to do some touristy bits around Pokhara. Uh, I think what we're trying to do now is to find a lake site so we can actually take a rowing boat, go across the lake and then we'll do a little bit of hiking towards the World Peace Pagoda. So, wish us luck! Stupart, two-way with driver is what I'm thinking we should do. Uh, they'll wait for us there while we hike and come back from the stupa and they get us back here. Right? Mm -hmm. So we're now at the stand where we can purchase the tickets and this is where people usually take a boat all the way across the lake and then they do some hiking all the way to the Well Peace Pagoda which is like over there. All right, so a boat number is 23? 23, perfect. And this is our driver, what's your name? Ali. Ali, nice to meet you Ali. <laughs> you have beautiful smile. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. Are you excited? Very. Yay. I don't so, know how do, I don't know how well I'm gonna do on the trek, but I'm excited for this boat. You'll ride be fine. And, uh, Shanti Stupa. Yay! Perfect guys, super excited. Can the you, day is beautiful. That, please? That we can finally have a look at the snow peaks. Yes, from uh, Annapurna. Annapurna. <laughs> it's got a really nice smile. so peaceful so a boat driver just informed us that there are no alligators no crocodiles no anacondas <laughs> only some fish in this lake and how do you say the lake fever lake or fever 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 lake fever lake, fever lake. Fever lake. Fever lake. I guys after 20 minutes we made it to the shore and i think this is where we're gonna start our hike all the way to the stupa there is a restaurant here but I guess because it's off season and COVID, nothing's really open. <laughs> 
Yay! Allez, viens. See you on the other side. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you so much. See you later. Bye. The hike starts from here. I think it's going to take about 40, 45 minutes to hike all the way to the stupa. Let's see how we feel afterwards. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too difficult. <laughs> Climbing all the way to the stupa. I can see Perry is very happy and he said he's going to struggle, but I knew he's going to be all right. <laughs> oh. How would you rate the difficulty of this hike? Sorry? How would you rate the difficulty of this hike? So far so good, I'm dancing. So far so good, see? You had no reason to worry about. So far nothing. All is good. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> the view's already stunning. Look at this wilderness. It's like we're in the jungle, but also in the city. So cool. There are a few cafes here. We can have some tea, coffee, momos, all the usual suspects. A little kitchen here where the family is making the food. <laughs> Look at this view. And that's just a view from a cafe. Stunning, absolutely stunning. you guys it says silent so I'm gonna try to be very quiet but we made it can you tell me what's the name of the stupa world peace pagoda world. also known as world peace stupa brilliant thank stupa you so much the structure of this dome it's a sacred area no shoes beyond this point no pets no alcohol no food or drink no smoking and no tripod we must remove our shoes here if we want to go see Pagoda from up close. There we go. Wow, it feels so nice to walk on this stupa barefoot. Namaste. Wow, absolutely stunning. And the weather is so beautiful today, so sunny. I regret that I'm wearing this turtleneck. It's way too hot. Oh, some breeze, yes. Just having uh, some drinks. We uh, made some new friends from Nepal. Nepal. Uh, we'll and we're enjoying our drinks yeah. with so a view uh, of Feva Lake. Look at this there. stunning. Likes to be called Tapa. So on a clear day, when there's no clouds, you can actually see the Annapurna Himalayan range. That's what it looks like. Here we go. And that's the World Peace Pagoda. So I think this vlog is coming to an end. I feel like we've done a lot. We've climbed a lot of steps, that's for sure. Burned a lot of calories, which was definitely needed. And now we're slowly going down. We're going to catch a boat all the way back to the lakeside where we started. And yeah, we'll probably just have some dinner, have some drinks and call it a night. So now guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you like it, share it with your friends. And as always, cheers to freedom. Woo!